Hello guys, this is Jack from Fox Tech, and today I'm going to show you a really, really great and a bigger plane. And uh, what is behind me is our Great Shark 330. Well, just to do a comparison of the size, and uh, we put the Nimbus and also the Baby Shark on the side, so you can have a basic understanding about how big is the Great Shark. Okay, just follow me and see how good and how big is the great shark. So now you can see the size comparison and you can see the great shark is a very very big plane with the wingspan up to 3.3 meter. Okay, compared with the baby shark 250 has a wingspan of 2.5 and also the Nimbus with a wingspan of 1.8. This is really a giant machine. This kind of a feature, it can fly longer and fly higher and also can load more payload. Well, just to give you a number and you can do the calculation. Well, it can load around 2 to 3 kilograms payload and fly up to 3 hours in the air. So you can do a lot of things like mapping, oblique mapping, or 3 modeling. And also you can lift a LiDAR so you can do the ground survey. A lot of things you can do with it. Well, as you see, all of our three planes are all VTOL. The VTOL can take off and land vertically with the full lifting motor and also fly in the air, translate into the air like a fixed wing, perfectly fixed wing and fly quite long time and it also has the great feature of a no landing uh, way or no runway needed and also the duration in the air is also good and the best thing is it's uh, just a purely powered by battery and also save you a lot of time to find the fuel source and the similar things and also it's safe, it's good and also it's durable. Okay, the maximum taking off weight of the Great Shark is up to 16 kilograms. Well, you can load a lot of payload including the battery up to 7 kilo to 8 kilo. So it's a lot number. You can just put in a lot of battery, you put in a lot of payload, you can still fly in very good. Well, the pushing power also features very high efficiency and also uh, when it flies in the air, it can give the motor and everything enough cooling, even overheat and the similar problems. Well, uh, comparing with the baby shark, you can see the shape of it is almost the same, but actually the wing shape and also the canopy number, the cabin number is also different. It has uh, three cabins, the front cabin, the middle cabin, and also the tail cabin. Well, actually we put in the flight controller inside of the tail cabin, and also you can put in the battery here. Uh, if you have a payload like an oblique camera, 3D camera, or similar LiDAR, with a similar size to the center cabin, you can just uh, open it and uh, just uh, put it inside. So it's very easy, very easy to use. Uh, talking about the size of it, you may worry about how can I carry it around. Well, uh, similar to the Baby Shark, the bars of the lifting motors, the tails, and also the wing are quick detach type. You can just uh, move it, and we also designed the quick detach plugs inside. So it makes it very easy to uh, fold, say fold or unfold, or assemble or disassemble it in a very quick time. Just like five minutes, you can have it ready to fly. Okay, so uh, you can see today we just load a zooming camera here. Uh, it's actually like a sticker 20 with uh, 20 times optic zooming. And uh, just, uh, well, if you put it on the baby shark, it's uh, kind of uh, big, but on the gray shark, it just looks normal. Well. Also, the landing gear is made of carbon fiber. It's very durable and very light. Okay, the whole fuselage, the whole uh, body of the Grey Shark is made of Kefla, carbon fiber, and also part of the balsa wood, making it with a great feature of a lightweight and also quite quite a durable body, quite strong body actually. Okay, so a brief introduction about the Fox Tech's new product, the Grey Shark. 330 and I hope you like it because always like always the bigger is better 
Okay, thanks for watching. And uh, if you like this one, you can find it on our website, which is the foxtimeapp.com. And also, please just uh, check our Facebook and YouTube and maybe Twitter, Instagram. You can find a lot of interesting things there. And if you like them, just uh, please don't forget to subscribe us. Okay, thanks for watching. Jack from Fox Tech. Hope to see you in next video.